Welcome to the VRF Wizard. I'm going to show you how to calculate air changes per hour and how to figure out the air changes per hour based on a given CFM. So you'll need to know how to do air changes per hour if your code requires this for maybe bathrooms or definitely any hospital is going to have air change requirements for operating rooms and a lot of other rooms. So quickly here, air changes per hour is the number of times that the total air volume in the room or the space is completely removed and replaced in an hour. So how many air changes in an hour? So that would be one air change if I took out all the air out of the room in an hour. And of course, when you take out air, it gets replaced with air. So if I take all the air in the room, out of the room, within 60 minutes, that's one air change in an hour. Now, if I want to calculate that, I would start by calculating the volume of the room. That would be step one, calculate your volume. In this case, we got a 15 by 12 foot room by nine foot high ceiling. So you wanna to go to the ceiling and not to the deck or the area below, only the space on which you're gonna pull out the air. So in this case, this works out to be 1,620 cubic feet. So then step two would be to, if we assume that we're gonna do four air changes, so we're gonna do this four times in an hour. We're gonna remove the air out of this room equivalent to four times its volume within an hour. So there's two air changes, 1,620 cubic feet for each time we exchange the air out because that's the volume of the room. The volume of the room is 1,620 cubic feet. So every time we take out that volume in an hour, that's considered one air change. So if I'm doing four air changes, I'm gonna remove that volume four times in one hour. So that's four air changes an hour. So step two then is to take your four air changes multiplied by the cubic feet of the room to get the total cubic feet of air that we need to remove in the hour. Four air changes an hour is equivalent to 6,480 cubic feet for this volume of room. That's four times the volume. Step three, determine the CFM, which is cubic feet per minute, per minute. So everything we've done so far has been per hour. Air changes in an hour. Now we got to get that down to the minute. So to do that, of course, we're going to divide by 60. So the calculations right here, CFM, that's equivalent to four air changes an hour. You take the air changes times the volume, which we already did, and then all you do is divide it by 60. So here's our volume. That's for four times the volume of the room because we're doing four air changes, but that's an hour. So we get to divide by 60 minutes in an hour into order to get our CFM. In this case, it's 108 CFM, which is equivalent to four air changes an hour for this size room. Now, if we had to work backwards and we knew the CFM of the room, but we didn't know how many air changes it was, we can determine how many air changes in an hour a certain CFM is worth based on this formula here. So working with the same numbers, 
we take the 108 CFM, multiply it by 60 minutes in an hour, and divide it by the volume will tell us the air changes. And that's the formula for working backwards if you know the CFM of the room and you're trying to determine whether enough it's enough air changes per hour. So you can work it either way, forwards or backwards, the formula works the same. So hope you learned something and we uh, hope you subscribe and look forward to our next video.